Welcome to the third summer of the fellowship. I'm extremely excited that the Harrow School is part of this. So what you're seeing here is really the future of public policy. Out of the 300 million people in the United States, 50 million of them are food insecure. This nation has faced a series of highly publicized adverse interactions between police and members of the public. The Conservative Government of Australia moved to delist the Tasmanian wilderness so that it could be logged. 25,000 adverse births occur in Illinois every year. City of Cincinnati does not graduate from high school on time. They exceeded our expectations in terms of what they were able to deliver and even provided some things that were, um, quite frankly, n not contemplated at the beginning of the process. We are using a data-driven approach to combine data across all of the EPA's regulatory programs for the very first time. We're mapping adverse births at the census tract level, which is much more granular than at the county level. In doing so, we highlight mismatches between current clinic locations and clusters of adverse births. These models produce a list of students prioritized by their urgency of attention. Our models are general, and we hope that they'll be adopted by other nonprofits who also run email campaigns. We use machine learning to categorize each restaurant in terms of a handful of human understandable attributes that are highly indicative of how much the restaurant might donate. It's data science for social good. It does not get any better for nonprofits like us. So what they've actually given us is something that we can start using immediately. LID will enable researchers, journalists, and concerned citizens to better understand where state laws come from. By processing all of the allegations that the World Bank receives through this predictive model, we can provide them with a ranked list showing them which would be more effective by pursuing in investigations. We believe that this kind of approach could be used nationwide to much more accurately pinpoint those officers who are at risk of these kinds of events. What we've been able to do over the last three summers is train 129 fellows. Um, and I'm extremely proud of all of them, of the work that they've done, not only in the summer, but after they leave and, and continue their journey.